Hey guys, I'm Mad Starcave and I'm back with another PS5 video. So as you probably know, I've already made two videos on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. The link for those videos will be in the description. But I wanted to make two more videos regarding the PS5 and then the Xbox Series X with specific reasons on why you should buy either a PS5 or the Xbox Series X. So this video will be five reasons why I think you should buy a PS5. Full disclaimer, these reasons will be based off my own personal opinion and my own experience using the PS5. And these reasons are just some things that you should consider as a potential buyer of the PS5 as you are spending a good load of cash to purchase a PS5 if you do consider buying it. But with that out of the way, let's just get straight into it. So the first thing I'd like to bring up is the price of the two consoles. So for the digital version, it's 600 Australian dollars or 400 US or 750 Australian or 500 dollars US for the disc version. If you've already gone digital and no longer use discs, then the $400 digital version is definitely worth considering. You're saving $100 over the more expensive disc version and you're getting the same identical console minus a disc player. That $100 that you save, you could potentially put towards games, accessories. That is the first reason why you should consider buying a PS5, specifically the digital version. The second reason I'd like to touch on, and probably one of the most important reasons, this is for PS5. So presently, there are a lot of great exclusives on the PS5. Most of them are carryovers from the PS4. Such examples include The Last of Us, God of War, Until Dawn, and of course Spider-Man. However, right now you can currently buy Spider-Man Miles Morales and Spider-Man Remastered and Demon's Souls. The latter of which is a PS3 remaster, but still an excellent showcase for the potential power of the PS5. And in the future, you have Horizon Zero Dawn 2, Forbidden West, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Gran Turismo Sport 7, Deathloop, which is a time exclusive, God of War 2, Ragnarok, Ghostwire, Tokyo, and Final Fantasy 16, all coming in the near future. Something that a lot of people don't touch on with these exclusives is there's a great variety of exclusives on PS5. You're into horror, first person shooters, zombies, open world adventures, action adventures, etc. There's a great variety of exclusives on PS5 which give everyone something to play. However, if you're not interested in any of these exclusives, then the exclusives argument as a reason for why you should buy a PS5 becomes less important. At that point, I recommend you consider the Xbox Series X. But that is something I covered in my original Xbox Series X versus PS5 video. Something I would like to bring up is Sony really needs to stop overusing the third person perspective. What I mean by that is you have a lot of Sony first party games that all use the third person perspective, such as Days Gone, God of War, The Last of Us, and Uncharted. And all these games are starting to feel a bit samey. It's not a big deal, but it's something I'd like to bring up regardless, and I'd just like to see where Sony goes with their first party exclusives. Maybe they'll have some more variety in this regard. Because if all their first party games start to feel the samey, that kind of devalues them. But that's just my opinion. The next thing I'd like to touch on, and the third reason, is the UI of the PS5. PS5 does have a very intuitive UI that carries over the user-friendly UI from the PS4 while innovating and improving on some key aspects. Some of these aspects include activity features, which say how long a player may have to take to complete their current mission or different levels for example. There's also a new explore feature however this is only available in the US of right now and you got PS5 and PS4 games being curated in the store which makes it a lot easier as a user to see if they're buying a PS4 game or a PS5 game that may have upgrades and the updates to utilize the PS5. Fourth reason I'd like to bring up is the controller. The PS5 controller really is innovative, especially with its haptic feedback and dynamic adaptive triggers. It just still currently is only limited to 24 games, but as it becomes more widely supported by video games coming out in the near future, I feel like this is something that Xbox will also include. It will definitely contribute to the immersion factor that people feel when they're playing games, especially when it contributes to making you feel like you're actually handling whatever weapon you're using. Insert politicians saying games make people violent right here. Something I do want to mention about PS5 control and something that will make people angry is that there are some reports of the PS5 remotes breaking, especially the triggers at the back because people are clicking them too hard. That's just something that you should be aware of. With any tech, there's always early adopter issues and these issues should be ironed out relatively quickly. Fifth and final reason that I'd like to bring up why you should buy a PS5 is there's a wide range of accessories that sleek and complement the system well. 
from the media remote which I absolutely adore, the HD camera which is optional, the Pulse 3D wireless headset which the Tempest Audio will gain more support as it's widely implemented going into the future. It's not something that's really worth mentioning right now because very few games support it other than Spider-Man Miles Morales the DualSense charging station. All of these accessories are optional of course, but they all complement the system well and they're well designed, well built, and they look very sleek. If you're looking to buy one console and you want it to be your dedicated media center, then the wide range of accessories that the PS5 offers will definitely complement your system well. To summarize, at the end of the day, the PS5 is a very sleek system and there are some very good reasons why you should buy a PS5. However, it's not my place to tell you whether you should go out and buy a PS5 or not. It really does depend on your own personal preference. This console generation specifically, the PS5 and Xbox Series X are so close to each other in terms of specs that it really does become what do you want at the end of the day. If you're interested in the exclusives in the PS5 and you like the UI, the controller and the wide range of accessories, by all means buy a PS5 when they finally come back in stock in about a month or two. However, do not buy them from scalpers. That's all I ask of you. Thank you for watching the video. If you agree or disagree with me, please leave it down in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content. I should have another video up soon about why you should buy an Xbox Series X. Until then, you'll see me slogging through Quantum Break and Gears of War 5. This is Mad Star Caven. Thank you for watching.